All right, hello, and welcome to this very first playthrough of Have a Nice Death. We're going to start this video the way we start every initial video of a game I play. And after I adjust my chair and my uh, book falls on the ground, I'm going to tell you briefly what I already know about this game. So I've got my How Long to Beat page pulled up here, and I can see that this game came out March 22nd of this year, 2023. And uh, so about nine months old now. And according to how long to beat, it is eight and a half hours long if we hurry. That's main story only. The completionist run, uh, uh, estimate is 60 hours. So, wow. Um, and I'm aware that this is a roguelike, which means that the how long to beat time is less important than in any other genre. If you are very good at a roguelike, you can probably crush that time. If you're really bad at it, you can never beat it. So um, so I'm aware that it is a roguelike. I'm aware that it is a 2D hand-drawn looking black and white thing. And I actually did a preview of this video back when I was doing previews. So I know that you play as death and it's in kind of like a corporate corporate world or whatever. Uh, but I don't know anything about the plot beyond that. I've never played this game. I've never watched anyone play this game. I don't know anything about combat, enemies, uh, reviews, uh, difficulty, bosses, um, plot twists, any of that stuff. So we're going in pretty fresh. We're going to keep track of the deaths at the top uh, above me here. Those are particularly important in roguelikes because that's basically like determining how long the game is. Um... And it will determine how many runs we have. It's always however many deaths plus one is how many runs it took to complete the game. So, uh, yeah. Um, but uh, I love roguelikes. Um, so, I don't know that I've ever played a roguelike I didn't like. No, I don't think I have. So, I expect I will at least like this game. Uh, hopefully, I'll love it. We'll see. Okay, options. I'm looking for two things. I'm looking for subtitles... And I'm looking for uh, performance modes. Probably in this game, no performance mode, but I don't see any subtitles uh, options either. So let's go ahead and just play. Empty slot. <clears throat> I'm excited. I'm excited. I've been wanting to play this game since I heard about it. I'm glad I finally found time. <laughs> <laughs> Looks very hand drawn. Oh, I see. This is setting up the the premise. He's getting these other people to do his work for him, right? <clears throat> Why is he getting shorter? Why is he why did he get tiny? That I'm not sure I do understand. Do you get bigger as you go? That'd be cool. Restore your former self. Relax, little guy. Oh, he's in love. <laughs> okay.
We're going down to teach those folks a lesson. Death Incorporated. For a long, long time, <clears throat> Death worked alone with no place to call home. Back then, he didn't even keep a log to track his victims. <clears throat> it was a time of, of adventure where the line between passion and professionalism was quite thinly drawn. All this changed when Death met Jacob, and they realized they needed somewhere to house his colossal forge. Then they had to delete... Then they had to delegate to a handful of spectral staff using the cloak's power. The company first began to take shape in the crypt of an abandoned cathedral somewhere in Europe. <clears throat> okay. All right. <clears throat> Where are we going? Oh, we got a we got a, a health bar up there, and. You can't just make it up as you go along, you know. We have a well-established procedure. What you have to do is... Oh, why, it's the CEO himself. Excellent timing, sir. All hell's broken loose. Brad has decided to let all the souls in, in without proper inspection. Brad. All of our departments are overwhelmed, as am I. Urgh! Try to argue with your associate sorrows, please. Associate sorrows. Okay. Welcome back, Mr. CEO, and have a nice death. Heh <laughs> heh. They said the thing! They said the thing in the thing! I love it when they do that. Oh, he's got some ups. Do we have a map? Yes, we do. Okay, interesting. Handy for making cuts at both the practical and organizational level. Slashes the whole screen. Is that a special or something? Curses? I don't know what any of that is yet. Uh, okay. Hey boss, so ready to get... So, ready to get the Death Inc. house in order? Just don't go spraining anything right at the start, eh? <clears throat> ready for the warm-up? I want to hear those bones cracking. Chop, chop! <clears throat> Let's iron out the kinks in that cloak. Chop, chop, press X and jump onto the ledge. What? No need to worry about what? Flex point. Ah, now that doesn't work. Try a little X onto this edge. Excellent, boss. We're not afraid of getting stung. R2 to go through. It doesn't actually hurt me, but it it conveys the point effectively. First time I'm going to do a jump squat, but you take the effort effortless 3.0 with L, boss. It's the light beam. Oh, okay. So easy to use. What a lazy bones. Ah, here's the Claude Isco. He missed his leaving drinks, but don't let him go without a square. Keep up, boss. Lucky for Claude, he can't feel a thing. That's interesting. Okay. Flexibility, boss. To cross these platforms, just press L and X. Gently does it. Okay, good. Yeah, that makes sense. There you go. Take a deep breath. Boss, X and R2. What a great jump dash. Or I could just do that. How about a little climb? Come on, let's climb L and square. We'll get the job done. Oh. Oh. See, that, that's really important, boss. You can find gross solary lying all over the place at Death Inc. Pick it up. It's your currency. It's 
Solar reworks his money of death, Inc. In order to pay for services and earn means of protection, the Quarter Boom created Solar Leaks. So you can find them throughout the company. Spend your Solar at Mark's shop to buy healing items, weapons, and extra spells. Or spend it at the control room where Jacob can improve your equipment. Never forget, you love money. Right. Come on, break this steel, stell, and get your weapon. We'll soon get that cloak of yours warmed up. Destroy a stell. Steel? Stell? Stelle? To reveal its contents, a shape shifting variant your cloak, a spell. I'll also, help your game pro. Because you could find an improved weapon. Lithomancy is a powerful me method of preserving work equipment and making sure it stays fresh, so to speak. Magi magic stone remains the material of choice for weathering any event. Only death has the power to break the official seal of death. Ink, which locks a steel. Stell. We're going to call it a stell. <clears throat> no, you have to break the stell and pick up the cloak using R1. You messed up. What? I did? Crush your target with a heavy, a heavy deafening blow. That shape deafening cloak is almost as supple as I am. Don't forget to use it with triangle. Okay, so that's my... Uh, Alternate weapon. Oh, and it's got a cooldown. Okay. What? Did you say something? I missed it. What are you waiting for? There won't be any credits or alternative endings. You need to move on. There won't be any credits? There better be some credits. Have a nice fight, boss! Ghost. Ghosts are at the very bottom of Death Inc.'s company hierarchy. There is, these menus are more commonly referred to as Disseasonal Workers. Alright, we're, we're not going to read that much going forward, but I'm just trying to get the feel for what I should be reading and what I shouldn't. Okay, that was cool. Yeah. Rerolls curses. If you're not satisfied by the curses offered by your Dredsury, Dredgery, Dredsury Inspector, Mr. Osha, you can reroll by spending your curse reroll token. By accumulating these items on the designated corporate floors, you have a lot of room to negotiate the advantages, penalties assigned to you by the inspector. Erg, that sucks. You're injured, boss. That part of your HP has turned gray. I need to worry. Harriet's here. Take this anima. L1 to heal you. Blue animas are bursts of life essence. Each burst can be used to heal 15% of your max HP. That's not very much. Injuries are displayed in gray on your health point bar. Bursts of Golden Anima are rare and precious. These bursts let you perform a pure heal for 15% of your max HP. Pure heal heals injuries and restores your lost health points. If you have both blue and golden anima bursts in your possession, you can hold down the L1 button and release it to use the golden anima bursts first. Okay. Hey, hello. Consume an anima to heal all your injuries. Injuries are the grayed out part of your HP. Make a note of that because it's important. What's more, you can only carry up to three at a time. If your storage is full and you get a new one, there's no need to worry. They will merge into a golden anima. And that's even better at healing. Golden anima heals your injuries and restores your missing HP. Quite effective. 
Okay, but... Why can't I... Oh, there we go. Now it's working. I just want to look. Tertiary attack. Interact. Consume an anima. Cast Frenzy. Okay. Cast Frenzy is L2. Okay. Okay. Do I have a bar for Frenzy, or...? Excellent, boss. You've really shaped up. Well done. You don't have any skin, do you? Is that what this is? Let's not forget, though, so far you've only trained with my friends. They've gone easy on you since they owe me a coffee. So from now on, it's the real thing. Keep your wits about you. Got that? Yes, yes, yes. Very well. Next time, we're going to skip the tutorial. Thank goodness. Yes, haha. Give it your all, boss. Okay, alright. Sorry, I've got new glasses, so I'm getting used to them. Ow, shit! I did not even see that. Okay. Okay, you can stun them pretty easily. See him until it was almost too late. Ow! Fuck you, bastard. Pyro Ghost? coffee. A hint of healing, just for fun. So enemies drop healing? That's good to know. Oh, that's my anima. Okay. Okay. Okay, so far so good. HR Office, T. O. Shaw. Oh yeah, what's up man? What do you need? Don't forget boss, each weapon or spell has a different frenzy. L2 and square or triangle or circle and bam, out come the big guns. Oh, I see. I see, so I can have two alternate weapons. Stop repeating everything, Harry. It's really getting on my nerves. I was there for the tutorial, remember? Yes, yes, you say that, but then you don't always listen. No, no, I, I'm glad you said that again. What's with this little book that's following me? What's up with that?
Oh, fuck you, you bastard. Ingots. As you explore a company and put your gun joke, you can offer him ingots to invest in new equipment, extra weapons to inspire, spells for pit book, food items, decorative aroma. Yeah. Another kind of currency, got it. God damn it. Oh shit. Okay. Oh, they can angle those too? Fuck you, you bastard! I forgot I had this. Ah, you fucking bitch! Max mana by 10. This arcane substance maintains balance between the all and the abyss. Pure source of mana. Is that permanent or is that just for this run? Mr. O'Shaw. Oh, sir, you finally decided to step out of your office. Work at Death Inc. goes on with or without you. I'll spare you my own thoughts on the matter. Your absence hasn't stopped the sorrows from going above and beyond. We've got our work cut out. Curses, for example, if you can remember. Assaulting an employee costs the company money. Minions, too, when it comes to it. Curses can help with that. Look. Okay. Has an effect while launching a cloak attack. Spells deal plus four bonus damage. Let's just take the max HP for now. I'll have to wonder if you'll manage to spark things off with that. Curses grant you passive advantages. These are abilities that influence passive. That cloak thing didn't look passive. These are abilities that influence your gameplay. They are ranked in three categories in accordance with the main pillars of Death Inc.'s business philosophy. Red for daring, which relates to scythe and cloak attacks. Green for excellence, which involves spells and mana. And blue for innovation, which has to do with useful matters like healing, defense, etc. Curses are categorized by rarity index. Common, uncommon, rare, epic, and legendary. Excellent. Cool. Like that. Rank from 1 to 6. Solar deposit. This should probably heal soon. I've got two heals. That's good. If I can hang on it, I get a, more out of it, I think. If I get a true heal. Oh. 30 pure heal? Oh, let's go.
just trying to get that dash down because it seems like that'd be a good way to get up to high, hard to reach places. You fucking bitch. Fills up the frenzy bar and increases its power. For one minute, Rage Tag increases the Frenzy Bar by 50% and offers an attack bonus of 15% during Frenzy. A little points card that you can fill up when you anger your colleagues. Okay. I haven't really used that at all yet. Oh, fuck you. Are you kidding me? It seems like it's a good idea to wait to heal in case you get one of those things like I just picked up. Ah, oh, fuck you. Alright. Life steal? Oh, hell yeah. Now I gotta move fast so I can use it. Ah, oh, fuck. Oh, it's gone. That's cool, we got some of that health back. Good. Prestigious Anima Deposit. first, right? And yet, here I am not doing that and getting hit. Another mana. I'm not even using my mana. Alright, feeling good. This uh, controls are good, the combat seems nice so far. It's simple, but it seems like it's going to get more complicated as we go. Department? What's the difference? 
Watch out, boss. Action, reaction. It's me again. Oh, Harriet. Oh, Harriet? I thought I'd gotten rid of you. Don't look so down, boss. You'll love what I'm about to tell you. You've earned a golden anima. Fantastic. Yes, yes, I know. Golden animas give you pure heal. They heal injuries and they restore full HP. Yada, yada, yada. Yes, but you will... Oh, wait. Yes, but you will have noticed that when you already have three blue animas, the next one you collect refuse with one and become golden. Pro tip, boss, a little press of L1 to consume a blue one, a long press to consume a golden one. Both supple and strong. Oh, God. That's not good. Oh, another golden animal. Cool. Cool, 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 cool. Max HP by 10. Let's go. Why did my H actual HP go up by 15? The shop! <clears throat> sell anything. Ooh, it truly is a pleasure to see you again, boss. They've made an awful mess up there, haven't they? Take some guts to get involved, I'll tell you that much. Anyway, perhaps you'd like to browse my wares as a little distraction. Snack manager. Unleash a wave of pure energy around you in the bunk in the blink of an eye. The bunk of an eye. <laughs> Okay, that sounds good. Raise your troops' morale or simply give them pure heal for 40. You don't need that. Contains one curse. Buy that. This curse is mere child's play. The sorcerer focuses all their mental energies and releases the spiritual energy in a single wave. All right. Mm -hmm. Yeah, good day to you too, Claude. Uh, uh, mm -hmm. Listen, please accept my humblest apologies. I didn't know the tutorial procedure had changed. It was degrading for you. Mm -hmm. Quite. <laughs> ah, yes, but I'm not sure if a leotard is the best solution here. <laughs> it's very good of you to take it in such good humor, though. Counting assistant. Okay. Security station Brad. Is this going to be the tutorial boss? Final floor. Oh, 
Uh, boss, before your uh, interview with Brad, you have to hear me out. It's very important. Show you notes that when you eliminated certain menus you collected in the Anima Orb. Yes, Animus heal my injuries. Blah, blah, blah. It's not complete. I'm not completely senile yet. Hey, don't take it the wrong way, please. We're just covering our bases. As we were saying, Animus heal your injuries, and injuries have grayed out part of your HP. See? Thanks, Harry. I got it. I can handle it from here. As you wish. The ball's in your court, boss. Okay, I'm going to go ahead and heal now. That is not the heal button. There we go. Now I can heal as needed. What the hell is happening here, Brad? Where did all these souls come from? What's it to you? Who are you anyway with your mummified Booma face? Booma. Okay, all right, okay, all right, Jesus. Shit. That did, that went poorly. I think this motherfucker's gonna beat me. Ah, shit! God damn it! Rest in paperwork. Ah, oh, shit. Ah, damn it. Total runtime, 17 minutes. Okay, so what do I get to keep? Ingots earned, 60. Start the game with a basic anima. Oh, that's nice. <clears throat> okay, so I lost my weapons. I lost my max health stuff. I lost my max mana stuff. Okay. And I gained some ingots, but I lost all of my money. Okay, just making sure I understand what all the different rules are. Uh, yeah, I see those office. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. What? Who that? All right, I gotta kill Brad. Boss, oh boss, I'm so pleased to see you. And you've got your pit book with you. Isn't it adorable? Did you know your pit book notes everything down for you? Just press start and you're done. It really is very cute, but mm, I don't really like the way it's looking at me. Come on, boss. On a scale of 0 to 5, how on fire are you? I'd say a tepid 2.5, or perhaps a toasty 3. And well, let's crank the thermometer up, to, the thermometer up to 10. Come on, let's break in a, your brand new weight room. Why don't you give us the guy the tour? Hey, hang on a second. Have you turned my old torture chamber into a gym? Don't you think that's going a bit too far? Waste not, want not, boss. This new room is designed for you to train with the equipment you've chosen to invest in. Each time you buy a scythe, cloak weapon, or even a spell from Joe, you can come straight here to try out my, on my assistant. Ta-da, Claudie! Don't worry, this time it's all above board. Claude has consented to being your sparring partner. I trained him to steal himself against your attacks, so don't be afraid to really let loose. Don't forget to stay 100% corporate, 100% disco. Renovation, inspiration, architecture, art, passion, imminence. Ah, reverent. I just wanted to talk to you about... Silence! You're breaking our concentration. No, it doesn't work like that at all. You've interrupted our focus. She's displeased with you. Why have you deigned to interrupt her? Can we talk business and discuss the office re re renovation reverent once and for all? Undoubtedly. But remember that her works of art are not yours to place wherever you like. You must honor the terms of each order in 
gold ingots. And ingots. Good grief. Well, at least you have your head screwed on. Yeah, I will not be buying... I will not be buying, uh, decoration with my permanent currency. Thank you. Invest your gold ingots with Muriel, Muriel the Reverend. Death inks of affiliate artists to renovate the different areas. Just so you know, though, you can't place the pieces you purchase wherever you like. The article, the artist decides where they will be displayed in advance, and nobody dares argue with her. Don't count on a friends and family discount, either. Wait, 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 what? What's this? The scythe. Applies premium. Deals 0.5% of the enemy's HP as damage with every hit. Okay, so I get to choose my primary weapon? Death and Dismemberment. What's that? Okay, well, let's try that, I guess. Oh. These are the different things that you can get in the game. Daggers. Well, let's just figure those out as we get them. Sparkle. Rank one. Okay. Boss, boss, boss. Good morning. Or evening. Whatever. Not important. Sorrows are out of control. Codes have risen astronomically. I'll spare you the details. You got a few ingots to spend? No. Let's do this real quick before I kick the bucket. Oh, and how's, how's you... How's you, how's the family, how's life? Get to maximum discount level on an item at Joe's. What? Reach the maximum discount level? On an item at Joe's. What does that mean? afford any of that. Um, this is one ingot. Unlock your first item. Whoa, what? Oh, I see. I got it for a discount. So this one's 34% off. Because I have to kill more enemy. Okay. Alright, don't touch that anymore, Nick. I don't even know what I just bought. Shakespeare and, a, and Dark Talents. Okay, okay, okay. Whatever, whatever. Hang on, what is that? Surprise, Mr. CEO, sir. I'm delighted to announce that Miss Muriel the Art Revenant is working on an evolving pictorial series. Come on now. 
Come now, and did Muriel provide any information about, hmm, her work? Ah, uh, yes, of course, Mr. C.O., sir. This time her subject is, mm, uh -huh, the one onerous of work. The onerousness of work. Apparently she was inspired by your brush with burnout. <sighs> the more difficult it is, the more epic and representation representative of the hard work you do her creations become. This is the Breakdown series. Now here, the contrast between the richness of, of the sculptured altar and its, the simplicity of this barely scribbled upon post-it. Fascinating. Okay, what would you say to an added doll of difficulty? Each time you successfully complete a run, you will be given the chance to turn the difficulty up a notch. This will take the form of pictures being created by Muriel the Reverend, the artist you're sponsoring. Each difficulty length level is ranked by breakdown number. Imminent breakdown is basic difficulty, while breakdown I breakdown one will be a bit more challenging. So on and so forth. Needless to say, breakdown fifteen is quite something. And one reserved for only the most enthusiastically insane employees. Don't panic, you can choose self fulfillment in easy mode, so you've got some breathing room. Okay. I'm just gonna choose imminent breakdown, because that's my only option apparently. Oh, I don't want that. Um. Boss? Well, I sure am glad to see you again. Yes, yes, it's so nice to catch up, but let's get to small talk, shall we? In accordance with Bulletin B66, you may not access the elevator until you sign a form. Don't make that face. Rules are rules. Wait, what? Before launching an assault on the stars, Jocelyn requires a few administrative formalities. If you wish, you can choose at least one contract among the four offered. Each contract imposes certain constraints, i.e. conditions that must be met during your time with the company. Fulfilling your contract grants you a bonus, or in the opposite case, inflicts a penalty. All the information is on the sheet. Depending on your level, Jocelyn can offer up to four contracts, but can only take three at most. Jocelyn is open to negotiation, and in exchange for a few ingots, she'll be happy to renew her offers. I don't know what I signed, but... Alright, let's beat this first level. This shouldn't be too hard, right? We almost did it the first time. I'm gonna stop reading everything that people say, unless it's... Unless it's actually important information. Oh, we're in it. Okay. I didn't realize we were in it. Under max mana. Fuck me. Quantum Solar Race? Gain a random amount of solar as long as you don't take any damage before you reach the elevator. What? Okay. Which one's solar again? That's these things, right? Yeah. Okay. Well, I think I've already taken damage. When did that start? Did it start when I read the notification, or did it start right before that? Because I took some damage right before that. <laughs> Ah, now this I can use. Uh... Ground attacks deal 15% bonus damage. Is the clock running on my...
Oh, there's the clock. I see the clock on the life steal. Oh well. How do I get down there? That was a lot. Of is that the solary? That's solary, right? Yeah, it is. What's that? Union protection. Single ingot. Oh, Jesus Christ, she was full of solary. Hazardous floor? Let's see what that is. I really should have had this the first time. Oh well. Using my mana, why I get all this max mana? What what is it for? I don't even know. I can't even use it. And so that's the currency that goes away eventually. So I need to spend that without being too stingy. Whoa! I got full pure an golden anima. What for? Did I just get really lucky? <clears throat> Thanager's office. Some mini boss.
They stay stunned for a long time. Ah, fuck. Oh, did he not get me? I th Maybe he did. Doesn't seem to be any benefit to breaking those barriers, but. Okay. Holy shit! with the Thanagers. <sighs> Damn it. This is fun, though. Permanently unlocks bleed curses. Alright. Alright, let's go again. It's been so long since I played a lo roguelike. I haven't played a roguelike in like a year. Is that right? I feel like it is. Looking rough, boss. Not too shaken up. I mean, no disrespect to Mr. Bradbury. He's getting way too confident. Seeing being attacked for no reason makes my blood boil. You're the best, boss. You're gonna kill it out there today. What's in here again? Oh, you have a training room. What's this again? The upgrade tree. Okay. Um... I'm not gonna unlock anything that I can't get it for basically free. That's definitely easy mode. You got some plaster dust left on your boss on your shoulder. Hee <laughs> hee. Mm, don't overdo it, Jocelyn. Thanks. Just wait and see. You know what Leon clean does in his spare time? Imagine him playing the little knight riding on his vacuum cleaner. It's ridiculous. Thank you, Jocelyn. That's what I thought. I'll regret learning more. I'll just take uh, this one. Alright. Feeling good about this one. Let's see. Dynamite, boss! What do you think this newfangled contraption is in? It's a wardrobe. Wow, so much enthusiasm. I like it. Yes, well, Orville and Muriel worked on it together. You can choose your scythe before you go to work. It's an easy way to rebuild something. Each scythe has its own transformation, so you need to check that with Orville in the control room. Well, Dynamite. Yes, yes, Dynamite. Thanks, Harris. Harriet. Power over speed? I'd like that. I'll try that. Oh, hell yeah. Uh, Oh, I like this much better. This is much more my style. You gain a large amount of solar as long as you don't suffer any damage before you reach the elevator. Okay, let's do it.
I should be using my frenzies more. Oh, I haven't been using my frenzies at all. Uh... I don't understand what a cloak attack is. Oh, we got... Yeah, we got like 10 solary. Cool. Okay. What's the... What's the vault? I was intrigued by intriguing floor, but... Vault sounds good. You fuck. Oh, I saw something back there. Huh? Oh, fuck. I did not see that. You bastard. Yeah, use your frenzies, Nick. Fire bow, unless it's a, unless, unless it's a twisting bolt that hunts down your enemies. The cloak ammo increases by one. Rains down a curtain of arrows that takes over the screen. It's a, it's a projectile attack. I'll take it. It's a strong projectile, projectile attack. Alright, this is starting to come together a little bit. Got a lot of ingots, suddenly. I feel like we got a lot out of the... Let's... Let's try something else. Solary Prismium Department. Oh, the hazardous floor is where we got those three golden anima. That's what it was. I remember liking that floor for some reason. Holy shit. Catch your enemy and drag them behind you. Okay, that does take mana. Mana regenerates pretty quickly. It's 
good for stunning, if nothing else. Alright, you get lifesteal. Make it count. Try the vitamin in the department. I'm a little scared to go to the Thanager again. We still got our life steal. We got most of our health back, that's good. Oof, you fucking bastard! all came back to me, right? Yeah. I want to try the Frenzy for the arrow. Next time I use a Frenzy. This is a good time. and unleash bot biting wounds. 5% chance to apply critical. So if I take that, which will it replace? It's up to me. Well, this is a... Um, So that coloring makes me think that it's like a rare or something. Let's try it. Of the two blades that make up the lost treasure of Eleanor, the rightful queen of Aquitaine, the dragon rose is the thicker one. Oh, it is also a projectile. Uh, you know, I'm gonna stick with what I have. Cause this looks like a good stun ability. Whoa, why did it... If you jump with it, it goes in all directions? Wow, okay.
Nice. I like getting that right before the elevator. That's cool. Uh, next floor, shop. Okay, fine, shop. Oh, I guess the shop is always the floor before the boss. Okay, um... Could have sold that weapon, but... Well, no, because... It's fine. Revelation bow. What's the bow that I have? Fire bow. So that... Oh, I just healed. Uh... Fire bow is 35 attack. This is 40 attack. It's a straight line attack, though. No, I'll keep what I have. I'll buy this curse. This bonus damage by changing weapons in the middle of a combo. One additional ammunition or cloak. That would be nice. Adds bonus damage to your attack. Adds an effect when attacking. Okay, let's try that. Bleed. Alright. Alright. <clears throat> let's try and fight this guy again. Fuck you, Brad! being mad at me, boss. I didn't do anything this time. That's exactly right, Brad. The complete opposite of the ghost. You who do way too much. Oh, right. It's got a fucking... Cancel, hashtag cancel your boss. Defeat a game boss for the first time. Let's go. I don't understand your reasoning, but ghosts work too much. I don't work enough, but I'm the one getting piled on? Too much rubble in the brain. Too bad. Try to remember what your job is. Thank you. We did it. Level one. Increases match HP by 20. So now the run continues, right? Okay. Ten percent crit chance. Okay, that's for my cloak attack, which is my arrows. My pleasure or displeasure, sure, it's all the same to me. Uh Okay, visit the break room. I guess that's where I'm going. Do I have to play the first level again if I die? I imagine I probably do the way that they're setting it up. Hey, Mr. CEO, sir, be very careful when taking your lunch break. I think someone is shamelessly raiding the fridge. Are you saying that sometimes your lunch disappears? Yes, I, I can't believe it. Do they think the fridge stocks up automatically when they take something out? Well, it sure doesn't. When the fridge is empty, that's it. And no poor sap is going to keep paying to stock it up. What do you think you're a sap, Patrick? Come on. <clears throat> the fridge is full of snacks that may well do you good, plus there's a tastiest flavor of all. Free. 
the first time at least. To refill the fridge with other tasty snacks, you'll need to pay for them with your own solary. If you choose not to take the snack that's offered, you'll see a different one the next time you go to the break room, but beware, prices increase as you go. No, but I've had enough. That awful junk is always in the fridge. Well, oh, okay. Plus five defense for ten minutes. Okay. Provides anima exchange for solary. Watch for price hikes. Oh, shit. Hang on, boss, is that really you? Wow, what a bold new look. I remember you being taller and scarier. This is definitely different. I imagine you haven't shown much interest in management's reports, but there have been some alarming goings-on re going recently. For example, the Sorrows have now decided to ignore your rules and are simply doing as they please. All departments are feeling the strain. Another week in hell, so to speak. A little anima in return for a pleasant surprise? Fuck you! I got nothing? Oh, damn it. Oh. Toxic food processing department. Okay, alright, okay. Yeah, so we're gonna have to start all the way over if we die, which totally makes sense. It's some roguelikes just don't work that way. Like um, uh, Crypt of the Necrodancer is one. There's so it's just this is more like Hades. Got it. It's fine. I'm happy with that. Hey boss, just wanted to let you know I didn't get around to inspect the offices in session A 10 P.E. My left shoe fell into a vat of melted cheddar. The pleasure. What? Any and happening through toxic. Okay. Lore, 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 lore. Got it. Waldo box. This is like a food theme place. Whoa. Oh, great. Environmental hazards. fuck was that? Haracola? This is like all food? Interesting. Oh, look, we're not done here yet. Okay. Oh, Jesus. Fuck, why are you still here? Thought I killed everybody. God damn it. Wriggle your target with lightning bolts from just above your head. That sounds pretty cool. Uh... What I have is better. I should be trying different things, but I'm still... This is... All of this stuff is still new to me. 
Okay, so these enemies drop other enemies when they die, some of them. Why am I going super slow suddenly? Oh. Okay, some kind of status effect. Okay, so this is down. I'm going down on floors. Is that right? Let's go to the cloak store. That sounds less hard. I assumed if it was over, it's something over here. I guess not. These abilities are pretty great. Like, that ability is... kind of OP. Oh, alright. Oh, that wasn't an enemy. Take any damage at all during that? Javelin! Rush forward and stick him with the pointy bit. 75 damage? What's the icon there? The glowing icon, what is that? Applies pierce, all common weapons deal plus 25% bonus. Oh, common weapons. Well, isn't everything I have common? Um... Alright. It's, 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 it's really strong. I mean, that's... it's a powerful weapon. Shakespeare, sting the enemies with a three-pronged combo. Hold on, I need to understand something. The 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 loot in this game. Have a nice death. Loot explained. Oh, I need to I need to know like items. Here we go. Okay, so. Not items, like gear, like I don't that's all. Maybe maybe I put in weapons. Okay, so I don't want to look at all the variations, but I wanna I don't want to look up anything that I... Okay, yeah, here, a weapons guide. I just need something that, it, like, it has, like, a picture of it, and it's like, this is what this is, this is what this is. 
Maybe there's something like that in the guy in the in the game. I just healed. I just fucking healed. Let's see, what is? Why does that have a thing next to it? What are those skulls? How do I know what those are? Why is this one a different color? If I take this instead of this... So that must mean it's a higher rarity, right? I'd rather have this one. Yeah, and I don't have any healing left, because I just accidentally did it. Damn it. That is incredibly powerful. Try not to get hit by that cold bullshit, Nick. Fire arrow. Shoot a fireball. Um, I'll take what I ha I'll keep what I have. This sword, jump and dive at laughing speed. Air attacks deal plus 20% bonus damage. Uh,
does a lot of damage. I'll, I'll keep it. I'm feeling pretty confident right now. I'm gonna go to the Thanager's office and see if I get my ass beat by whoever Candace is. Do I get iframes with this circle attack? Seems like I do. That one. Wait, you're not dead yet? Can you die? Is there any point in killing those things? this cupcake. Let's go. Ah, shit. Fuck you. Oh, fuck. Oh, for fuck's sake! Oh, no! Are you kidding me? If I'd hit her with my friends, I didn't know what the frenzy did. Now I know. All right, well, um... <sighs> no, I don't want... I don't want easy mode. I'm doing fine. So that's three deaths. I see you again, boss. I uh, Harry reminded me to stay at your side because you're having burnout, and she told me it can be really difficult, maybe even dangerous. Anyway, I can give you a hand making it if you want. I've taken cooking classes, so uh, don't worry. Wherever burnout is, I love challenging new recipes. <laughs> I'll help. the training room. Okay, so we don't want that. I don't care about that. Unlocks an elevator that takes you straight to Brad's security station. Is there more of that? Yep. So you can, as you go, you can start skipping levels. Oh, here we go. You can go to the left and right. Okay. Alright, I'm going to stop for right now. Oh, we can uh, unlock Slaymore now.
Wait, why is it 80% off? Doesn't make any sense. I mean, I'll take it. All right. I'll stop for now and we'll do some more runs on the next one. Alright, cool. We'll see you then. So far, so good. Appreciate you.